Welcome back to Follow the Money. The Occupy crowd is not all rainbows and unicorns. There have been reports of theft, robbery. Yep, even an Occupy Cleveland protester claims she was raped in her tent over the weekend. Even so, the president says he understands them, and then that movement has a lot in common with the Tea Party. Really? 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 Does that movement really have a lot in common with the Tea Party? No, I guess I kind of agree. I guess they don't have a whole lot in common. You see, the, the Tea Party, they hate Obama no matter what he does. And then the Occupy Wall Street movement, they hate Obama because he didn't do what he said he was going to do. So there's a, there's a fucking big difference. Joining me now is Tea Party activist and Fox News contributor, Deneen Borelli. How funny is it that she's a Tea Party activist and a Fox News contributor? No, nobody would have seen that coming. Who, who would have seen Fox News supporting the Tea Party? I mean, we've never seen that before. Guys, go ahead and, and roll the side of Obama talking about the Tea Party and the Occupy movement. In some ways, they're not that different uh, from some of the protests uh, that we saw uh, coming from the Tea Party, you know, both on the left and the right. I think people feel uh, separated from their government. They feel that their institutions aren't looking out for them. Holy shit. That was shocking. I, I am shocked. How do you feel about it, Fox News guy? All right, Denise, I was shocked when I heard that. I, absolutely shocked that he's going to go ahead, Mr. Obama's going to go ahead and relate the Tea Party to the Occupy movement. One of them, uh, communists, Nazis, calling out, thumbs down to capitalism, calling for socialism, anti-Semitism, on and on and on. And they're just like the Tea Party? Did this motherfucker honestly just call all of the Occupy Wall Street protesters anti-Semites and, and Nazis? You, and you think that nobody is okay with capitalism that, that is occupying Wall Street. You, you think that it's just maybe that, that they're all socialists. That's why they're occupying Wall Street. It's not that they see that regulated capitalism has been broken and that it's now become the rich, the ultra-rich versus the rest of us. That's why they call themselves the 99%. Let's ignore all that. We'll just call them Nazis. Literally, just call them Nazis and anti-Semites. Yeah, I've seen a video of, of some fucking crazy people. It's New York. Shit happens. You can always find someone that is stupid within a group. But to use that one person as an example for the entire group is just fucking irresponsible. Fuck you for calling yourself news. But it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm talking to Fox. Fox News. Fox Business News. Whatever the fuck bullshit it is. They won't even call him President Obama. They call him Mr. Obama. That's how fucking bad they are. Mr. Obama is going to go ahead and relate the Tea Party to the Occupy movement. One of them, uh, communists, Nazis, calling out to thumbs down to capitalism, calling for socialism, anti-Semitism, on and on and on. And they're just like the Tea Party? It's insane. And it's, it's, nothing could be further from the truth. Listen, the Tea Party movement is about limited government, constitutional government. Here you have Occupy, wherever you are, who wants bigger government, big spending. I'm pretty sure they want a more responsible government and, and more responsible spending. You see, if you don't have to fund wars all over the fucking planet, it makes it a lot easier for you to do things like take care of your sick and you're hungry. In my opinion, it's the wrong target that they're going after. They're going after Wall Street. What they should be targeting is crony capitalism. That is why our economy has not recovered. That is why we are losing jobs. You have the government that is picking winners and losers. The bitch obviously does not understand the difference between crony capitalism and what Wall Street fucking does, because they're one and the same. Hey, you go fuck up, and then you get a big bonus for it. And the government will bail your ass out. We don't want that. The Tea Partiers didn't want that. We didn't want that. We didn't want to fucking bail out with our tax dollars. These too big to fail fucking businesses that still give give their fucking CEOs and, and top bracket record bonuses and record profits constantly. While the rest of us struggle and we're unemployed, can't pay our mortgage, can't keep a roof over our head or feed our families. Uh, that's... What we're worried about is the fucking crony capitalism, you dumb fucking cunt.
This is Obama's base, and that is why he has aligned himself with them, which I think is very dangerous because of what you just said, anti-Semitic comments, anti-American comments. Are you kidding me? Uh, no, are you kidding me? It doesn't fucking matter what Obama says. He might as well go for it, because guess what? When he is totally meek and mild and centrist, you guys still compare him to Hitler and Stalin and Mao Zedong. You treat him like a dictator. <laughs> when he is totally centrist and try and just gives in over and over and over, he might as well try to appeal to his base, which, by the way, most of those people don't like Obama. Anti-Semitic comments, anti-American comments, are you kidding me? And then he criticizes the Tea Party movement? It's absolutely outrageous. How in the fuck did he criticize the Tea Party? Like, I didn't hear that part at all. He was saying that... He thinks there's something in common and that neither of them think that the government is doing a good job of representing them. That's all he said. And then, like, that now that's an insult to your awesome Tea Party movement that was so unscathed before that. <laughs> I mean, it's outrageous. And um, one of the one of our favorite uh, hometown favorites right here, Ron Paul from last night, Z22 guys. This is Ron Paul on Occupy. Mr. Kane has uh, blamed uh, the victims. Uh, there's a lot of people that are victims of this business cycle. We can't blame the victims, but we also have to point. I'd go to Washington as well as Wall Street, but I'd go over to the Federal Reserve. Uh, they, they create the financial bubbles, and you have to understand that. You can't solve these problems if you don't know where these bubbles come from. Hey, Denise, uh, the so-called Ron Paul, so-called victims are the ones who are defecating on police cars. They're stamping on the, the U.S. flag. They're ha flying the flag upside down and saying, down with capitalism. It's disgraceful. Uh, be, you know, they should be a a targeting government, Obama's failed policies. But what's I Ron mentioned Paul crony doing here? Why is he... Why you know, it's, and, and uh, you, you need to speak up for this because I say, Ron Paul says he's Tea Party, and then I get these emails from the Tea Party saying, he ain't Tea Party, is he? Well, the message is clear. The Tea Party wants representative leadership, constitutional government, limited government. I mean, we see these individuals, all they want is big government and more spending. That is why Obama has aligned himself with them, and this is why it does not compare one way, shape, or form to the Tea Party movement. I speak at numerous Tea Party events across the country, and I have not witnessed this sort of anger and this sort of, uh, of, of people just being disruptive of, of private property and, and businesses is outrageous. All right, Denise, hang in there. I want to bring in tonight's panel, guys. Uh, take a listen to Z23. This is Herman Cain. Uh, a little bit different take on these occupiers. Take a listen. I still stand by my statement, and here's why. They might be frustrated with Wall Street and the bankers, but they're directing their anger at the wrong place. Wall Street didn't put in failed economic policies. Wall Street didn't spend a trillion dollars that didn't do any good. Wall Street isn't going around the country trying to sell another $450 billion. They ought to be over in front of the White House taking out that frustration. Hey, Chris, there, there is a Tea Party representative, my friend. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, they, the, the, the idea that Barack Obama is trying to, and the Democrats are trying to equate this movement, as you described it, with the endorsement of the American Nazi Party, Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi also have aligned themselves with this movement, with the endorsement of the Communist Party USA, of the Socialist Workers Party, with, as you said, the guy defecating on a police car. Uh, they've set up flags as doormats for people to step on. They are the antithesis of the Tea Party. They're exactly what the Tea Party rose up to push back against. This is the leftist horde that has been in hibernation, right. really, since the late 1960s, but they're making a big comeback with Barack Obama in office. And, you know, they, to, to pretend that the similarities outweigh the dissimilarities is, at a bare minimum, disingenuous, but he's trying to co-opt a movement that will have some sort of electoral impact on, on Election Day. At the same time, He's aligning himself with uh, a group of people that, as Doug shown, the, the Democrat right. pollster uh, oh. pointed out in yesterday's uh, piece, 31% of them favor violence. violence. Whereas a much larger percentage of teabaggers are pro war, which is violence. <laughs>
and uh, the cops that are there at these Occupy Wall Street protests, I guarantee you a higher percentage of them are pro-violence than right, we, we did that uh, last night. Getting Chris, Chris, hang in there. I want, to, I want to bring Garland in here. Garland, first of all, do, do you uh, sympathize with the Occupy movement? I certainly sympathize with the, their, their basic belief, and that is that they're getting the shaft, that the, the very wealthy, the top 1%, are doing very well, and they are getting right, out of right. college. They Garland, can't get I'm a not job. Nothing's I'm good not for them. You I'm, off, sir. I'm going to let you respond to this guy's play Z25 from one of the, one of the Occupy movement uh, wow. the rallies. Go ahead, guys. <clears throat> I'm here representing myself, but I do work for the Los Angeles Unified School District. And I think that uh, the Zionist Jews who are running these big banks in our Federal Reserve, which is not run by the federal government, they need to be run out of this country. There's a bigot, my friend, Garland. How in the world can you, again, it's not just one, I got more, I have more, but you still right. say you, you, you back right. these people. Here's what I'm saying. You can go into any movement. God knows we've been down that road yeah. with the Tea Party and some of the things. So you can go into any God movement. Knows. If you pick out someone, you're going to find somebody that's oh, saying please. or doing something that they shouldn't do. Oh, please. That's not ahead, the movement. Go ahead, finish up. No, I'm saying that's not the movement. And I think that people are doing themselves a disservice and not understanding what's really going on here because it's not going to go away. People are, it's not going to go away because they're not going to get jobs. All right, hang on. Uh, Danielle, <laughs> have you ever seen this? I haven't. Have you ever seen anything like this at a Tea Party rally? I have spoken at numerous events across the country. We police our own. <laughs> I saw one instance where an individual tried to be disruptive, and we had the authorities on the scene right away. It is not accepted. It is not allowed. Loud. That is not what the movement is about. And your movement did nothing. No Nazis with the, uh, marching with absolutely the, not. No communists marching with the Tea Party. Absolutely. No not. no Tea Partiers defecating on cop cars. Absolutely. No not. one burning an American flag. But here's no the one thing. calling right. out you know, saying calling it the uh, it's the Zionist Jews who are running the Federal Reserve system. Absolutely. No no right. anti-Semitism. Right. right. And because ah, I love it. it. I guess the Tea Party was just perfect. Every single protester was well informed. And they knew all the areas of each subject that they were so pissed off about, and there was no idiots, and none of them threatened any violence, and none of them had any racial tendencies, and none of that shit. They were just so fucking perfect. They were so per or at least Fox News would have you believe that. But for Obama to align himself with these individuals, right. I find that very concerning, and I also find it very dangerous because I think there this is the grounds. For, it, for this to escalate. And it's insane. It's yep. outrageous. So anyone who is behind yep. this effort, I think they're making a big mistake. Garland, last word, uh, and I'm going to play something right after you're done, sir. Last word. I think it's a mistake to try to define these people in the worst possible way because there's a lot more. This is a reaction to something. But look at their actions. Yeah, well, there are you. I mean, you can go through any group and find some actions, but that doesn't define the whole group. That's, that's not what I heard a year ago and two right, years right, ago. Right, right. We gotta leave it there, guys. I'm sorry. Uh we gotta leave it there because they gotta squeeze in this last bit of bullshit before they go. Octopus out. Um, I would love to play. Can I play this ad, producers? Can I play this ad on the way out? Can we do that? Can we use it? Let's play this ad. And we're gonna say goodbye to Denine Borelli. Thank you very much. Watch this. What is happening at the Occupy Wall Street protest? Jews control Wall Street! Got a bomb, Jew! The small ethnic Jewish population in this country, they have a firm grip on America's media, finances. It's insane, and it's, it's, nothing could be further from the truth.